It's hard to imagine a force that can move continents apart. Yet this is precisely what the Earth's inner heat is able to do. It happens because hot rock rises, heated by the Earth's core. Near the surface, the rock spreads in two directions and goes sideways. It begins to lose heat. Eventually, the much cooler rock sinks back down. Through this spreading process, the Earth's crust is very slowly dragged apart. And it's this that ultimately causes the continents to move. The lava lake at Erta Alley is an example of the same process, but in miniature. As we've seen, the movement of hot lava drags a crust across the surface of the lake, just as the continents are pulled across the Earth's surface. To appreciate the idea of continents moving, you have to step outside human time scales and think in terms of a completely different time frame. The continents here are drifting apart at two centimetres every year. In my lifetime, we're talking just a couple of steps. Even in a thousand years, that's just 20 metres. It's only when you start to think in terms of millions of years that you realise just what can happen. Two hundred and twenty-five million years ago, our planet looked very different. All the continents were joined together in a single supercontinent called Pangaea. As the plates moved, this supercontinent broke up. New oceans formed as continents drifted around the globe. It's this that has created the shape of the world we know today. But the plates never stop moving. In the distant future, our continents will once again be reunited in a new giant supercontinent. We've seen what happens when the plates move apart, but when they crash into one another, the effects are even more dramatic. The collision of the Earth's plates is responsible for the most spectacular mountain ranges on our planet. To see how they're created, I've come to New Zealand's South Island. These stunning peaks run 500 kilometres along the west coast, forming a dramatic spine down the island. According to Maori legend, these mountains are made of the petrified bodies of four gods who got stranded here on a canoeing trip to Earth. As they were attempting to return to the heavens, a big storm blew up and capsized the canoe. They climbed on board and waited for someone to rescue them, but no one came. As time passed, they slowly turned to stone. As far as geology goes, there's a slightly different explanation. It may not be as romantic as Maori legend, but it's every bit as epic. What was to become New Zealand was once a group of scattered islands. The collision of the Pacific and Australian plates forced these islands together, creating the familiar outline of New Zealand that we know today. Along the collision zone, the land was buckled and a line of mountains rose up. New Zealand's mountains at around five million years old. That may sound ancient, but it's just a geological blink of an eye. Yet even in this short time scale, these peaks have grown into giants. <laughs> 